Hi guys, today we will be demonstrating a robot using EVN Alpha traveling along a line tracking course we have created. The robot has to travel along the line, U-turn at the red line, and stop before hitting the orange obstacle. Let's look at how our program will achieve this. We start by defining some values to be used later in the program, such as our motor speed, color sensor black and white readings for calibration, and thresholds for obstacle and red line detection. Then, we declare our board, motor, and peripheral objects. For this robot, we have two motors which are passed to a dry paste object, two color sensors, one distance sensor, one compass, and one display. We also declare a PID controller which is used to control the turning rate of the robot as it follows the line. In Void Setup 1 and Void Setup, we initialize all of these objects as well as Serial 1 which is connected to our Bluetooth module. We set the range of readings for both color sensors so that it will read a calibrated value of 0 on black and 1 on white. Finally, we write some labels to our display to indicate what data is being displayed for each row. In our main control loop, we read from all the sensors. From the color sensors, we are reading calibrated clear readings for line tracking, but we are also measuring the ratio of the red channel to the clear channel so that we can detect the red line. We calculate error as the difference between the two color sensor readings. Our PID controller receives this error as input and computes a suitable turning rate for the robot to bring this error to zero. If the motors are not enabled, these variables are all written to the display. This is helpful for debugging sensor readings and ensuring that all the components of the program are functioning correctly. If either color sensor sees the red line, we read from the compass in a while loop, turning the dry base until it is 180 degrees from its initial heading. If the distance sensor reads a distance below our threshold of 60 millimeters, it also stops the dry base from moving. These two cases are transmitted over serial 1 so that we can record these events wirelessly. If both cases are not active, then the robot line tracks as usual. Here is the completed run. To take a look at what our Bluetooth module was transmitting, I used the Bluetooth serial monitor app I found on the Play Store. Thanks for watching.